Hello and thank you for watching this short video on the Primo 860 Combination Therapy Unit. The 860 is the most versatile of all the units in the Primo product range, offering ultrasound and stimulation from the same unit. You can offer ultrasound only, you can offer stimulation only, or you can offer a combination of the two. What's more, if you choose, you can treat one patient with ultrasound and another patient with stimulation at the same time. We recommend you take a look at our Modalities Explained area of our website for in-depth information on the benefits of combination therapy or you can visit www.electrotherapy.org for independent information. When you power up the machine you can instantly appreciate the clear and intuitive touchscreen display. You can choose between ultrasound only, stimulation only, or a combination of the two. And the setup menu allows you to choose your preferences for screen contrast, language, the ultrasound contact alarm management system, audible volume levels, audible key clicks, and advising of the current software version. Simply press exit to return to the main menu. So let's take a look at the ultrasound modality first of all. For those familiar with the Primo Therasonic 360 or 460 ultrasound only units, the setup screen will be the same on the combination unit. Simply use the touch screen to choose your treatment time, the frequency output, the pulse mode, and then once again you're ready to begin treating the patient. It really can be as simple as that. There are several other options available with the Primo range, such as the ability to save and use up to 10 user programmable treatment regimes. A unique feature of the EMS Physio protocols is that each setting has been based on published clinical evidence and has been collated and referenced specifically for EMS by Professor Tim Watson, who is based at the University of Hertfordshire, north of London. Each patient condition is listed, and once chosen, the machine is set automatically to the correct setting for the optimal treatment of the condition. The user simply has to apply the treatment head to the patient and increase the output to the maximum allowed. The machine's maximum output varies according to the condition chosen. Likewise with the dose algorithm, the settings have been exclusively provided to EMS Physio in electronic format by Professor Tim Watson and allow the therapist to set the machine to the correct output, depending on a number of parameters including the depth of the lesion, the size of the lesion and its chronic or acute state. Once the ultrasound therapy is finished, touch the menu button to return to the main menu. Within the stimulation option, there are 12 different electrical stimulation modes from which to choose, such as 2 and 4 pole interferential, Russian, TENS, diadynamic, sinusoidal, ferradic and galvanic, interrupted galvanic, Trabair, Mediwave and microcurrent. Touch the menu button of your choice of stimulation mode and you will then have a selection of parameters depending on which stimulation mode you've chosen. You will see that the option available on each button will change each time you hit the button and the options repeat in a regular pattern and only go forwards, not backwards. So if you miss your option, you will need to scroll through to the required choice once again. Finally, the unit can be used in combination mode, offering the benefits of ultrasound therapy and stimulation therapy at the same time to the same patient. In order to set the machine up for combination therapy, you will need to select the individual modalities first. From the ultrasound menu, make the selection of time, frequency and pulse mode, and then return to the main menu. From the stimulation menu, choose the type of stimulation for instance 4-pole interferential and you can then choose the same time along with the carrier frequency 
the AMF rate, the output pattern, and whether to include the vector function. Once again, return to the main menu. If you then select the combination mode, you will see that the settings you've selected are automatically used for the combination therapy settings. You will not be able to make any changes to the settings other than to change the time. If any changes are required, please return to the relevant modality menu. With the combination mode, the ultrasound in effect becomes the fourth electrode. The inner blue terminal, shown as B1 on the label, becomes redundant for the purposes of combination therapy and you should remove the cable as a precautionary reminder. Attach the fixed stimulation electrodes in place onto the patient. If you are only using two-pole interferential, the yellow cables shouldn't be used. Now place the ultrasound treatment head in the location required along with the ultrasound treatment gel. It's recommended to start the stimulation first to allow the patient some time to accommodate before the ultrasound is delivered as this can sometimes increase the intensity of the electrical stimulation. Press the IT button and then slowly increase the stimulation output. You will see the time start to decrease and the output indicator increase. You are now able to bring the ultrasound in by touching the US button and slowly increasing the output of the ultrasound. Once the treatment has stopped, the unit will provide a short beep and the session is terminated. It really is as simple as that. The unit is supplied as standard with a large ultrasound treatment head and four reusable stimulation electrodes. EMS has listened and responded to customer feedback and we have now changed the familiar blue and yellow cables from a thin type to a much thicker type and we hope you like the improvement. Thanks for taking a look at this product. We hope to have answered your initial questions. Please do contact us directly through the website if you have further questions. We're always happy to help and we will respond to you within 24 hours wherever you are in the world. Hope to hear from you soon.